Hi, I'm Dr. Darren Schmidt at the Nutritional Healing Center of Ann Arbor. And this is a subject that um, I've helped hundreds of people with. And the question is, is your brain fried? And um, people are having their brains fried from primarily uh, three things. Number one, looking at a computer screen. And then number two, problem solving, just thinking. And then number three, stressful situations. So if you're at work and you're looking at a computer screen and you're figuring out a problem that's on the computer, it's your job, and number three, you're stressed out, that all fries your brain. There's other things too, like sugar does, and um, traveling in airplanes will also fry your brain. Being exposed to a lot of electromagnetic frequencies like Wi-Fi, you know, um, cell phones, if you're in an office and everybody's got their cell phone and there's um, wireless connection because you have uh, Wi-Fi all over the place, that's, that's bad for the brain too. And sometimes you'll see it, but it, it'll take years. It may take years for your body to start to react to that kind of stuff. And here's what happens when people have their brain fried. They go like this. And then they're rubbing their temples and um, they don't want to think about anything more because it's too hard and they start to not want to look at the screen anymore and they don't answer their emails and they get grumpy and they go home and they just plop on the couch and again they're looking at their their tablet and the the screen is still this far away um, and so another thing is a loss of memory difficulty pulling up words and the craving for sugar because now your brain is needing like rocket fuel instead of good fats and healthy foods. So um, I've seen this a lot and I've helped a lot of people. If you go to a medical doctor, they'll say, well, you just need some more sleep or you need to take a vacation or here's some Prozac. And none of those fix it. <laughs> you actually have to feed the body, feed the brain nutrients that it needs. And what is the number one nutrient that the brain needs? Cholesterol. Your brain is made out of cholesterol and um, saturated fat. You cannot do a low-fat diet and expect your brain to be healthy. And there's great herbs that help with this situation. I'll write down some. Here's bacopa and iodine. These are fantastic for helping the brain regenerate. If your eyes are tired, bilberry. Um, and then there's uh, B vitamins, and um, but the main source of B vitamins would be liver. I got to write this down because if you go to a health food store and you get a B complex multivitamin, it's not going to work. The you have to have like a whole food based B vitamin, and the main source of B vitamins is organ meats. So liver is fantastic for helping the brain and the eyes. Um, if this continues on down the road, you end up getting sleep apnea because the sleep center of your cerebellum starts to get tired, just like the rest of your brain. And then you then it starts to forget to breathe at night. And so you stop breathing for 30 seconds and you gasp for air. So I've fixed dozens of people with sleep apnea by feeding their cerebellum and then they don't need the CPAP machine or the BiPAP machine or whatever. So these are all... Um, there's a lot of other symptoms that people can get when their brain is fried. One is dizziness, um, and they're kind of walking around like they're slightly drunk. Um, dyslexia, so the interposition of numbers or letters when they read. Um, and then what's really, really, really rough on the brain and the eyes is watching a video. And that's different than reading on a tablet or on a phone. But the videos, the activity of it, just the electromagnetic field of it, just the, the motion and your brain is trying to track with that, that's, that can be um, quite detrimental to the health of the brain and the eyes. There's a website that promotes their brain exercise games to help prevent Alzheimer's. I don't know what they're trying to do, but you subscribe to this and you play these games on your computer to help your brain. The problem is it's on the computer. That's where the problem is. It's not the games I'm sure would help if they were on paper. 
but you don't want to be doing stuff on the computer if your brain is fried. So this is a new subject that's not really well known at all in this country, um, especially in medical circles, but it's getting worse and worse and worse. And I've, ex I've seen this, it started off with a website developer who just wouldn't return my emails. So I called up a, another one and that fell through. And then I talked to a third person and she goes, yeah, I get a lot of new business because website designers won't return their emails. And it's because their brain is fried and they just are avoiding the computer screen. And I've talked to many of them. I've, I mean, I've experienced this myself. So, um, so I've, so I've helped a lot of people get their brain back and their brain function and their memory and their, and then, they, and then you feel happy when your brain's working.